Welcome back to the channel again, guys. Hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the long weekend as well as recognizing our fallen heroes from the past. And um, let's get started with today's video. Today's video, I'm going to cover fuel injectors, when you need to upgrade them, and why you need to upgrade them. Always, as always, please hit that like button and then subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet. I will bring you more videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, if it's a holiday, it's going to get pushed back one day just like this video. But yeah, let's get started. All right, first things first. Most common mistake that people make is people think you're going to make more power the minute you swap in new injectors and get a tune. This is technically not true only time you need to upgrade your injectors is when you actually run out of fuel and you need more fuel okay so i'm going to get into a little bit more detail about that but basically what it means is if you have a car that's completely stocked with bolt-ons 99.9% .9 of the time you're not going to need to upgrade your injectors for a tune okay let's dive into it a little bit further Okay, so here is my amazing diagram. Um, I drew this before I started the video so I don't waste time um, making you kind of go through my drawing process. But as you can see, it's labeled. Down here, this huge black tank is called the fuel tank. There's a little basket here that holds the fuel pump, which is called the sending unit. From the fuel pump, line comes out into your fuel rail, which holds your injectors obviously depending on how many cylinders you have you're going to have different number of injectors um, and there are different types of fuel systems where you know there's going to be a return line to the fuel tank um, and things like that which you know I, like i said I, with all my videos before we don't get too scientific i'm just telling you the facts so that it's easy to understand all right with that said oem fuel systems will always run around 60 to 70 percent capacity okay this is when uh what the tuners call duty cycle okay that's how much of the injectors are actually being used in simple terms so when you're a full throttle in your new car you're only using 60 to 70 percent capacity of the full fuel system so if you're throwing intake and exhaust and things on there and you know just going with a standard tune on regular pump gas there is absolutely no reason for you to upgrade injectors because you're never going to reach a hundred percent duty cycle meaning if you went with bigger injectors like there's nothing to be gained because you're still going to be modifying those injector tables within the ecu to run just enough for the fuel to actually create that ultimate that you know perfect fuel mixture so by upgrading injectors only thing you're doing is one creating a headache for your tuner to scale the injectors and two all the disadvantages of bigger injectors come along with it so if you get too big of injectors a lot of times what happens is you're, you're going to experience hot start or cold start issues another thing you can experience is um, rough idling um, idle hunt where the rpms move up and down you know it's not it doesn't actually stay stable like the oem ones um you might even experience issues at poor throttle where the injector when you know a lot of a lot of people will refer to it as dirty injectors the way it sprays um too big of an injector will give you rough part throttle performance as well so again no reason to upgrade on regular bolt-on cars there are certain exceptions to this rule but it is rare that this happens on on an a vehicle with just regular bolt-ons okay now when do you need to upgrade your injectors it's simply put only time you need to upgrade injectors is when your car is actually taking in more air than what the injectors can handle because how does a car run you need air fuel and spark right so spark taking your care by spark plug which i have a separate video about spark plugs that you can take a look at 
air and fuel needs to be mixed to create a optimal air fuel ratio for your car to run healthy and create power. So if you're pushing in more air, let's say you have a naturally aspirated vehicle, so non-turbo, no supercharger, nothing. Only thing you're doing is throwing an air intake on it. You're going to be increasing air flow by a few percentage points. You're not talking 30, 40% more fuel. You're talking maybe two, 3% more fuel, if that, okay? At that point, you, do, you have plenty of injector left where you don't have to upgrade injectors whatsoever and the OEM injector is able to handle it without any issue. Now, the question comes when people say, why are OEM car, um, car companies using you know, only 60 to 70% of their injector capacity? The reason being is they always need to have some type of fail-safe more margin of error Okay, because a lot of these OEM companies have warranties. So three, five, some of them 10 year warranties. So when you have warranties that long, you need to make sure that all your systems have a margin of error so that the cars can run for that long so that they don't have to really worry about anything failing. So they don't want to run everything at maximum capacity. So imagine running that OEM injector at maximum capacity for five years. It might fail a lot earlier than if you were only using 60% of the capacity. You know, it's just not, it's just simple stress test. If you think about it, if you're stressing something at 100% versus if you're stressing something at a 60%, the 60% stressed item will last longer typically than the 100% stressed item. That's why, you know, they're only using 60 to 70%. Now, let's move on from that. If you on an NA car, now that we're still on that subject, when would you need to upgrade injectors then? Most of the time, like I said, throwing an air intake is not going to change anything to a point where you need to upgrade injectors. But lately, a lot of people have been running E85 fuel. Okay. I have a separate video about E85. I'll put up the top right, uh, top right hand corner right now. But E85 uses about 30% more fuel than regular pump gas like 91 or 93 octane and at that point you may be reaching a hundred percent duty cycle of your injectors or you actually might be needing to flow more than what the stock injectors are capable of so at that point is the only point on a naturally aspirated car you need to upgrade injectors on on what size injectors to get, you definitely need to talk to your tuner about that. A um, lot of times the tuner will suggest a size that's slightly bigger than OEM. They're, no, they're not going to have you get like a 2000 CC, you know, huge injectors, because again, that will create problems I, uh, I listed earlier about aftermarket injectors where you have rough idles, bad throttle, um, things like that, okay? So for NA cars, like I said, 99.9% of the time, you do not need to upgrade injectors. And only time you really need to change injectors and sometimes fuel pump, depending on your setup, is if you run E85. Okay, so let's move on to turbo vehicles. OEM turbo vehicles, do you need to upgrade injectors? Most of the time, no. Like if you still are running stock turbo and um, full bolt-ons, 99% of the time, just like the NA vehicles, you do not need to upgrade injectors because, again, the OEM manufacturers have built in enough margin of error where we're able to still use the OEM fuel system without much issue. But if you are upgrading the turbo, now what are we doing? When you upgrade from a smaller OEM turbo to a bigger aftermarket turbo, that turbo is pushing way more air than the smaller turbo. And then it goes back to what I said earlier. It's all about how much air goes in and fuel and the mixture of it, okay? So th this is what we call AFR, air fuel mix, air fuel ratio. Air fuel mixture is what we need to uh, pay attention to when we tune. So if you're pushing 50% more air than before, your injector is surely not gonna handle that. So that's when you need to upgrade injectors and again, possibly your fuel pump as well. So 
unless you're doing a bigger turbo 99% of the time, again, you do not need to upgrade injectors. And when you do need to upgrade injectors, please, please talk to your tuner, ask your tuner what size injectors you should get, because you don't want to get again, too big of an injector to a point where you're having issues with the car on day to day drives. You don't want a car where you have to be full throttle all the time. You want a car that's able to idle and drive normally and also handle your full throttle. So the tuner will know best when it comes to what size you will need. So definitely refer to your tuner about that. Um, the common misconception we get, the common emails that we get is my friend with an Evo told me if I got a bigger set of injectors, I will gain 30 more horsepower. So what did we learn from today's video? Injectors don't create horsepower, okay? Injectors are supporting modifications to the modifications that create horsepower. As in, better fuel, E85, so you will need injectors for that. Or, bigger turbo, you will need injectors for that. Or, if you were to add turbo to a non-turbo vehicle, you're definitely going to need injectors there, okay? Another thing I want to go over is MPI versus GDI. So if you look right here, I have it already written out. MPI is called, is actually short for multi-port injection. GDI, or sometimes called just DI, is called gasoline direct injections or direct injection, okay? MPI is the older style fuel system where the injectors sit in your intake manifold and sprays in at low PSI, okay? So usually MPIs run anywhere from 35 to about 40 PSI at idle. Sometimes they do have higher um, higher level vehicles like the BK2 Genesis Coupes usually run around 89 PSI at idle. Um, but like I said, they are pretty low PSI when it comes to that. Direct injection engines run over 1,000 PSI. Sometimes at full throttle, you'll see like 2,000, 3,000 PSI of fuel pumping through the injectors. And these injectors are all made out of metal and sprayed directly into your cylinder walls instead of um, spraying in through your intake manifold. So that's the reason why they call it direct injection because it, it injects the fuel directly into the cylinders. Okay. Now, why did I bring that up? Because of how much fuel pressure that direct injection engines have, a lot of times with direct injection, you do not need to upgrade injectors. So it's really hard pressed to find aftermarket direct injection injectors out in the aftermarket market, okay? Because most of the time you do not need to upgrade those injectors whatsoever. And on top of that, they are very, very, very pricey compared to the multi-port injection injectors because they need to be made to handle way, way higher PSI than the MPI injectors. So as always, consult your tuner. Do not listen to your buddy that has a different car that says you need to do this to your car to make more power. Always, always consult your tuner. Make sure he points you in the right direction with the right parts, okay? If you have any other um, subjects you want me to go over that you're unclear about, make sure you leave that in the comments and I'll take notes and make sure to bring that up in the, um, in the future videos. I hope this video helps you further along on your modification projects um, and clears up, you know, if whether you need injectors or not on your particular project so that, you know, you're not wasting money. You're not going through headaches that's unnecessary. OK, uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share the video to your buddies that just think fuel injectors equal horsepower because it does not. OK. All right. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you on the next one. Go!